Hey everybody, welcome back. What do you do when you've got a radio, a binding post, a wad of extra wire, and you want to make a vertical 20 meter antenna, but you have no mast to put it on, you have no trees to hang it from, you're out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, we're going to try something today and see if we can make it work and uh, we'll see what happens. Come on, let's go. So as you can see, we're in wide open spaces out here. We don't have any trees. I don't have a vertical a spider beam mast to hang a wire on. But I do have some masts here that aren't very tall, but they might work uh, to support a wire. And that is the corn. And although the corn's only 10 feet tall, or somewhere around in there, how do we get a 20 meter quarter wave length wire, uh, 17 foot wire, in the air, 17 feet when we've only got 10 foot uh, to work with? Well, here's the idea. Let's walk over here and I'll show you. We're gonna use the corn stalk as our mast to get the wire up there. We're going to use the corn ear of corn as our wrap our coil. This is going to be our coil to wrap the wire on. And uh, we're going to maybe probably hook on with the uh, binding post down in here somewhere. So it'll be a center loaded coil. And we'll also have some height here to run the counterpoise. Uh, elevated and see if we can uh, make it work. Okay, so I'm gonna get my vertical wire up there. So luckily, these are pretty flexible right now. So I'm just going to uh, give this a little tie. I'm just gonna wrap this around it and tie it to that top tassel. And hopefully it will stay. All right, so we'll let that come down. Uh, you know what? I wonder on the back side of this leaf. There we go. Okay. So we'll let that come down. We've got a lot to, to coil here. So All right. So I'm going to come down with this little piece here. And I'm going to start uh, making my wraps. Okay. In lieu of time, I went ahead and uh, got everything prepared. So some of you may ask, you know, why not cut the stalk out? and get it out here in the open, uh, away from all this other forage. Well, I really don't have anything to support it out here. I could tie it to the gator, but that's no fun. Uh, and I really don't have a way to support it vertical where it's already standing vertical, supporting itself. So we're just gonna use it in here and make it work if it does. So we got the wire coming down. I wrapped the coil around the ear corn here. There's 20 wraps in here for those of you with the formula. I couldn't tell you what's up there. Is that maybe uh, three feet, maybe four feet to the top? 20 rounds, and then it's coming down here another couple feet to the uh, binding post. And I've got my coax on one end, and the counterpoise going out there elevated to there. All right, we got the rig expert over here in the shade, so let's get it powered up here SWR chart all right and we've got it opened up to all bands just to get a overview picture here okay well not much of a dip anywhere there's a slight one here a little bit starting over here but on 20 meters it's a 12.8 to 1 SWR 12.8 to 1 well you know what there's a guy in Florida Mark the Ham Florida Man. He's got a YouTube channel down there. He says, we don't care what the SWR is as long as we've got a tuner uh, and uh, we'll be all right. So we've got a tuner in the X6100 that we're gonna be using today. So uh, we're gonna put Mark's uh, theory to the test and see if we can make some calls with this non-resident antenna with a 12 to one uh, SWR and let's see if we can make some calls. So let's hit the tune button and see if we can't get that knocked down. All right.
It's working. All right, well, the ATU lit up here. Let's do another SWR scan and see what we got. Still a little high. Nice dip on the frequency we tuned on. Kilo zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. 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 Well, there you have it. The results of our uh, corn ear of corn coil antenna. And I think she sums it up pretty well right there. She is bored to death. That's a pretty boring antenna, isn't it, sweetheart? <laughs> we made zero calls. Uh, we heard the stations, but nobody heard us. Did a whisper test on one watt and got three spots, three contacts off of that. So anyway, we would not recommend that antenna, would we, sweetheart? Nope. Don't, uh, don't go out and purchase that antenna, no matter where you find it. Amazon, eBay, anywhere. Do not purchase this antenna. Uh, we're just forewarning, yes. So anyway, we had a lot of fun anyway trying. And uh, appreciate everybody stopping by. And we'll say 7-3. Stars, but they stay out of sight. Just my luck tonight, no contacts, feeling right. Can't make a call, no more. Summer line, just static and silence, feels like.